Hi everyone, as most of you know, I like making a ship in a bottle, but for this week's episode, I thought I'd try something a little different and make a ship in a vase. Do you guys remember what this is? I'll give you a hint. I haven't used it for nearly 12 months. It's Australian Melee Burl. It's getting harder to find and really expensive, but I've managed to get a piece for this week's project. Now for the ship, you know I like to use Star Wars or Star Trek, but for this one, I've got something a little different. The Jetsons. I remember getting up in the morning and watching this before going to school. It was so good. Now as much as I'm excited to use this ship, I'm also a little worried because of this dome on top here. That's going to trap a lot of air. Now I will be using the vacuum chamber to try and draw it out, but as we know, if you don't get all the air out of the models, it's going to cause fractures. But I guess that's just a risk that I'm willing to take. So the first thing I need to do is cut my burl down to size so it fits in the mould. So now that my burl is cut and cleaned, it's time to add some paint. Now I know a lot of you are divided on this. Some like it raw and some like it painted. But for this one, I'm going to paint it and then add some colour shift. Now that my bell's all pretty, it's time to crack open the ship. So the longer I stare at this spaceship, the more concerned I get over this dome trapping air. And I think I might have to do something about it. I'm going to drill a tiny hole in the roof to let the air out. It's now time for me to glue the ship down to the piece of burl and I'm going to do that with some UV resin. So I've gone ahead and glued the piece of burl inside the container and it's now time to mix the resin. Now after I've poured the resin, I'll put the container inside my vacuum chamber. I'll create a vacuum which will suck all the air out that's inside the model and when I release the vacuum all the resin will get sucked into where the air was. Now after that I'll put the container inside my pressure pot or I'll leave it to cure. Now once I add air to the pot it'll squish all the bubbles so small we won't be able to see them. And hopefully after doing those two steps we won't end up with any fractures.
Well, apart from George getting some new frosted window tint, this blank's turned out really good. So you're probably telling yourself, Ben, that's not deep enough for a vase, and you're absolutely right. So the next thing I need to do is mix up some more resin and pour it over the top. While that's in the pot curing, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to all the support on last week's video. You guys hit 5,000 likes in the first day. And just as promised, here are the five random comments who will be getting one of my dragon eggs. Now I know this video isn't over yet, but I already know it's going to look amazing. And if you guys think so too, hit the like button. And if we can get this one to 10,000 likes, I'll be picking out 10 random comments and sending out 10 eggs. Now let's get back to the build. Now that our resin's all cured, I can pop it out of this blank and glue it on a waste block. I really enjoy making coloured blanks like this because you never know how they're going to look until you turn them down. Well I think I got away with this one. There was so much overhang that I really needed a stabiliser in the middle, but the one that I have doesn't suit this lathe.
I got to admit, when I thought about making this vase, I really didn't think it was going to turn out that good. But boy was I wrong. This one looks amazing. So let's check it out. 